All right, we have to go check on our one apple tree. We looked the other day after the storm and it uh, survived, thankfully. We have to go check on the apples to make sure that uh, everything looks good and they're getting ripe. Because when they're ripe, you have to pick them. Can't let them go too far. Uh, we're going to talk about some fruit in this video here. Did you ever hear of Russell Brand, son? Russell Brand? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's right. That's the way it should be, by the way, with Christian children. Have you ever heard of a Hollywood movie star? Who? That's the right thing. Oh. Um, there's a big controversy about this pervert, Russell Brand, this new age guy. And um, this whole thing came out that uh, allegations came out about him and four different women have come forth and whatever else. Uh, and interesting timing, but there's a lot more to it. But we're here at the uh, apple tree, so let's take a look at the apples here quickly. And then we'll get back to our discussion. Right, go ahead. Yeah, let me show you what we have here. We have a lot of apples. A whole lot of apples. If you can see that there. So did you pick one? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got one? Okay. Um, there it is. Show the people. These are bigger apples than the ones back in the hidden meadow. Um, let's pray for it quick. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless, sanctify, and cleanse this apple. Thank you for the apple. Thank you for our property. And thank you for your word and the body of Christ. And I pray it all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, go ahead, take a bite. See what it's like. I'll have to find the seeds. You have to find the seeds. Mm -hmm. And okay. if you see that, the apples go to fall, then they'll just fall on the ground. Right. Yeah. So, the thing of fruit is very important. So, uh, what's the situation with this whole Russell Brand thing? Well, um, I have to switch my arm here. Uh, obviously, it's a hit piece. I mean, the guy's been a pervert for many years. Uh, wicked New Ager, servant of the devil. But there's an agenda behind it. And I'll just get right to it. Same thing's going on with Donald Trump. What these guys do is they're servants of the devil. And they will come out and they'll say some really good things. And as a Bible believer, the Bible says, charity rejoiceth in the truth. So you say, wow, that's really neat that uh, this guy's coming out and saying this stuff. But then the flesh starts to kind of lean a little bit towards, oh, maybe, you know, this is good. Maybe things are turning around. Maybe things are getting better, you know. And, uh, well, you know, so-and-so, Russell Brand here, he said a lot of really good things and he's, he stood up for freedom when others haven't, and he's been persecuted for freedom, and so I'm a little bit inclined to kind of look the other way, you know, because obviously it's a, it's the media is coming against him like they did with Donald Trump and the whole Stormy Daniels thing or whatever, this porn star or something that Trump fornicated with. You see, it's, it's a ploy of the devil to get you to lower your standards as a Christian. That's what it's all about. That's what these people do. Lower, drop your standards and say, well, because he said some good things, charity rejoiceth in the truth, be thankful for that, then maybe we should be for this guy or whatever else. Ah, that's where your problem is. That's where your sin comes in. You know, you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you get to the seeds yet? No. Okay, keep working at it. It's a big apple. All right. An apple a day keeps the medical goons away. Just remember that. <laughs> You've been eating a lot of apples, apparently. So, <laughs> um, but this, again, uh, yes, I understand it's a psyop. It's, I understand it's some kind of a thing of all of a sudden now, after all these years, these women, you know, they weren't bothered by what happened and now they've all been brave all at the same time and mainstream media is running with it and things because Russell Brand spoke against the pandemic and a bunch of other things. And so, uh, you know, now they're going to roast the guy and everything. And, but the, the real danger, like I said, is that they come along 
and they will get you to lower your standards as a result of trying to stand up for what the guy has said that's true. And you know, let's just forget the fact that he's, you know, just openly a servant of the devil. Same thing with Donald Trump. Uh, both those guys are servants of the devil. Uh, both have the morals of an alley cat. But, you know, hey, as Christians, we should be have more grace for them and whatever because they're there to help our country and bring freedom in and whatever else. No. But what can we learn from this as Bible believers? Well, you can learn 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, where the Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Uh, if Russell Brand truly had a changed life because he got born again and was a real true Bible-believing Christian, then the Lord would have protected him from this. We all have bad things that we've done in our past. Um, not including raping women and whatever else, but uh, you know, we all, have, we all have things that we've done that we are definitely um, very much ashamed of. And you don't have to talk about everything that you've ever done. You don't have to confess everything. What do we have there? Still white. Okay. Still, seeds are still too light. Mm -hmm. Well, we're getting there, though. I mean, usually our apples don't, they're not really ready till October sometime. We have some that are ready early, some that are, take a little while. But uh, getting back to what I was saying, um, when you get saved, Jesus Christ makes you a new creature. Uh, old things are passed away, all things are become new. Uh, the Bible talks about that uh, the things that are hidden and whatever else, that they'll basically come out in the future. And so it's not a good idea to try to hide and try to just pretend, oh, I've never done anything bad and whatever else. Uh, yeah, like again, I said, you don't have to tell everything that you ever part of, but there needs to be that change there. And you need to do whatever you can to put distance between where you are now as a born again Christian and where that sinful life of the past was. Um, and again, you could say, well, Russell Brand did that. He was, you know, he was a very crazy young man and whatever, and lots of fornication, lots of drugs and whatever else, I'm sure. Um, and then he got uh, married and had children and, and he wasn't messing around and everything. That's, let's just say that that's true for a minute. But you see, there's no Holy Spirit there. There's no new birth in Christ Jesus. So he can't claim to now have some kind of a, you know, the protection of God upon him. It's not there. Same thing as Donald Trump. Donald Trump has fornicated and been through so many different marriages. He can't claim any kind of a righteous uh, life or anything else. And so he has no uh, Holy Spirit protection from God. His protection comes from his connections to the Catholic Church through his Jesuit education at Fordham University. Um, so, uh, again, I'm just making this to try to prove a point, brethren, and that is why it's so very vital to have that new birth and to see that new birth. And if you can't say that things changed when you got saved um, and that the Lord didn't start to really shake things up and change things in your life, um, I don't think it took for you. And you better be very careful to examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. You have to do that. You can't just say, well, I believed and there doesn't have to be a big change and whatever else. Um, uh, no, that's not true. The old hymn goes, what a wonderful change in my right life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. Um, you know, it goes through the whole song there. But... Uh, just want to make a quick video on this whole thing um, as this is all going through the media and they're going to destroy the guy and whatever else and but you know I'm seeing this thing it's so disturbing to me to see professing Christians and they just overlook the sins of Donald Trump you know uh, because well he's done some good things and he says some good stuff in his speeches it doesn't mean anything uh, are the actions there is the uh, is the fruit there? <laughs> there better be some fruit. 
you're a fruit inspector. Are you a fruit inspector? Absolutely yes. Uh, I want to see some proof. Oh, I'm, a, I'm saved and whatever. Okay, show me some proof. Um, hey brother, uh, how about you and your wife go out on the town tonight and we'll look after Oliver. Mm, I uh, really don't know you that well. I would need some to see some serious fruit and get to know people. Yeah, before I would let them be around my son. Uh, that's not going to happen. Um, we need to be very careful to judge. That's right, I said judge people. Um, he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man, the Bible says in, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. We are supposed to judge. And so I can look at a guy like Russell Brand, and I don't care what he says. I don't care how, how many good things he says and whatever. He's filthy. Uh, he's an evil man. And all these different guys, um, they just, they live double standards. They live double lives. And, you know, when they're in front of certain crowds, they'll speak a certain way. And when they're not, they'll speak some other way. You know, and then you get these Bathlicks. Oh, brother, if we knew everything about you that God knows, boy, I'll tell you what, you know, and you wouldn't be much cleaner than Trump. Uh, again, it just boggles my mind. Um, I can tell you right now of a truth. I am much cleaner than Donald Trump. Even in my worst days, I, did, I wouldn't have done the stuff that that guy's done. Or that Russell Brand has done. Um, no way. Not happening. Oh, you sure, sure sound like a sanctified, sanctimonious, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. I can't help you. Um, I know my sins. I know the things where I messed up. But I certainly am not guilty of some of the stuff that these guys are. So, I uh, just wanted to do a quick little video on that. I'm not going to keep ranting about it. So, what is that for? Oh, had to get a napkin. That's only a coin. Well, yeah, but I don't know if it's doctor approved though. That's the only problem. <laughs> oh, well. The leaves are starting to change. I'll show you a red maple here in just a minute. When we get to it. Oliver's going to go running over to it. Do it this way. There he is. By the red maple tree. Right there. So, not sure how good the leaves are going to be this year because we've been getting so much rain. A lot of times they just kind of wilt and die when it, that happens. But I love to see the beautiful leaf change and the yellow and the orange and the red, different colors of the leaves on the trees. It's a wonderful thing. So, so you're not going to be a fan of Russell Brand then? I won't be a fan. Oh, that's terrible. You could learn from all these Hollywood uh, vermin and uh, go up, grow up and have the, all these great moral convictions of the, these perverts and everything else. You don't want that? No, I don't want that. What's this world coming to? When the youth don't worship Hollywood actors anymore? <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? <laughs> so, that will be it. We have to head back to the office now. Um, keep your standards high, brethren. Keep your standards in line with the scriptures. Not in line with feelings or emotions or anything else. So, that it will be it. Thank you very much for watching.